We're out here at the Wilderness in uh, Minneapolis, uptown. Got a uh, happy hour going on this evening, bringing the Minneapolis, Minnesota community together through beverages, uh, cannabis beverages. And uh, I know you've been here for what, like a day, day and a half? You've taken care of me. Yeah. <laughs> of show, course. Show me the uh, Minneapolis way. Good food. Yeah. Nice, cool weather. A little different than St. Louis. So, yeah. It's been good. Absolutely. Thank it's you. Good. How, how are you liking these beverages, though? Beverages are amazing, man. Um, I am not much of a drinker these days, and it's nice to be at a happy hour and, you know, actually just be drinking something and yeah. not feeling like I'm, you know, missing out. So, uh, this is a nice little four milligram guy. Okay. So it's in, you know, started small. Low dose. Um, low dose. Um, I saw they have some two, two fours, some two, uh, two THC, four CBDs, so one to twos. Yes. Which are really interesting. Yeah. I would love to try one of those. They're just getting um, smaller and smaller. I like that on the THC side. Um, and then, in, you know, I saw some CBG too. You which did? Which is really cool. There's a couple, I think Crested River actually Crested River does. has some CBG. Yeah. Um, which is really interesting to see. Um, you're not seeing that yet in the Missouri market. Um, they're, you know, they're standard. They're your typicals. You get some fives, and there's a couple two and a halves. Yeah. Um, but they're not getting into the miners yet, so it's really cool to see the miners entering the beverage space. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Sean from Crested River put me on to CBG. Okay. One awesome. of one of the people early on with CBG, and you mentioned the minor cannabinoids. Like that is such an essential part of what Natrium talks about and what. I'm interested in and uh, it's it's fantastic like just THC is not not enough like I like the blend the like, entourage effect is uh, is very much necessary um, for the overall experience without a doubt yeah. um, 100% like today I I figured out my coffee blend is like a 50 to 50 to 1 ratio of CBD CBG THC oh, and wow. um, you would never be able to find that on a shelf, I don't think, like a 50 to a 50 51 no, product. No chance. But what's happening is the Minnesota consumer is getting more educated and they're trying more products and they have access to more uh, add ins. Like, yes, these beverages are great, but they also make drops that people oh, can put in and you can dose your own product. So you can turn a cocktail into a THC cocktail, you can turn a mocktail into a THC mocktail. And they're, they're nano emulsion, water soluble. So one drop is a milligram or something like exactly that. Exactly like wow. that. And then they're recapable too. So you're not squirting all 10 milligrams into your beverage unless you want to. Like, like you were saying, you could get just the two milligram dose. Fascinating. I think the ability to, for us to, to tweak the dose and, you know, like for example, this is a 20 milligram one to one so it's 10 10 of THC it's 10 and 10 and 10 of cbg is it yeah okay oh that's great this is my shit yeah I, yeah <laughs> i saw that one that was the other one i was going to go for yeah that looked awesome is that the lemon haze lemon haze yeah. from crescent yeah, yeah, river yeah. yeah the uh what i'm really interested in is like going beyond the standard dose yeah and i think it takes an expert level or it takes a professional like mike or mel or someone from a retail store to kind of put you onto that mm -hmm. but we have to start we have to stop looking at like out of the like out of the box is just enough like we need to understand that cbg may help lower the brain inflammation which might help uh prevent dementia mm -hmm. and Absolutely, so if man. we can get like i was just at a family reunion and i saw 60 year olds i saw 70 year olds i saw 80 year olds like what would their life be like if they had access to cbg every day yeah if they were taking the CBD CBG dose that I'm taking, how much more free would their experience, their life experience feel? Yeah, they're not bogged down by pain and stress yeah. and like. But what do you, th what do you think like the average person feels about CBD? Like, when you recommend CBD to just someone, the, just CBD, like or like the topic of CBD, I feel like it's hard to just get someone on the right dose right away it's sort of a discovery process yeah i mean i, I think cbd is interesting for me because a lot, of, a lot of my time has been more focused in cannabis um so i think it's been you know the conversations have mainly been around more the entourage effect how important it is also have cannabis but i do think some cbd products that i've you know recommended and advocated for 
you know, more of the full spectrum products for two, three years now, right. I've noticed more of an impact for me at least than just, you know, any type of isolate, um, CBD isolate. I think CBD has been more for the older generation, definitely easier for me to recommend any type of balm or some type of, you know, even a tincture they'll do, yeah. but more topicals I feel like are usually um, kind of the easiest way for me to ease people in. And they usually work, and they usually, uh, you know, they like to, they like that, they like the CBD, and they come back to it. But I think the beverage is a different game, mm. and I think mixing it with THC, you don't see it. I mean, you're, Minnesota is the first state doing something like this, yeah. And um, it's, I think it's really interesting to see what's going to happen because I think a lot of states are going to follow suit. There's a lot of, uh, especially states that, um, even though they kind of backed into it in a way that they didn't expect to, I think there's a way to go low dose in a new market before REC that could be a little bit of a slower way to get there. Pre-REC. Not having the smoke. Yeah, yeah pre-REC, right? Having the nano emulsifying, you know, emulsified drops. The technology. So it's still REC. You, if you really want to get, you know, wrecked, you could, you know, have, you know, 20, do 20 drops and, get, and, you know, have a 20 milligram drink. But yeah. people can do it responsibly. Right. Um, We're starting to see this equal footing with alcohol. Yeah. Hey guys, yes, I could buy a four pack of these and drink I them all. I can drink a four and a half percent, or I could get a crazy eleven percent. And you and like are people going to liquor stores and buying you know uh, Everclear? No, not very often, right? No. So why would we? Why are we only smoking the thirty-two percent THC flower? It makes mm. no sense. So this pre-rec model that Minnesota is building, that we're calling pre-rec, that is known as the low dose market. Yeah. It opens itself up to paradigm shifts throughout the entire cannabis industry. Yeah. It, and if we're able to increase the consumer base by providing more products that are, some are strong, some are medium strong, some are low, not very strong, soft strong, then we're creating more space for people that have had bad experiences with the higher dose stuff. You're basically forcing the recreational licenses that are about to enter the market to level up and actually uh, prioritize education for their consumers, which is amazing. There's not any state that's done that yet, and the low-dose market here is allowing for education to occur that has never occurred in any other recreational state, and that's exciting to me. And the, and the, the risk is lower. Like yes. When we talk about low, yeah. we're also talking about risk. Yeah. It's, it's a less dangerous product. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think about this, Jackson? I love that you can have your own choice, whether it's a little bit or a lot, because for some people, a little bit is a lot. <laughs> they just yeah. can't handle it. Yeah, know? exactly, 100%. So if they can only find a lot, which is some people's case, like at least before it became legal anyways, it's too much for them, so it's just not good for them. Yep. You know? Yeah, absolutely, man. I think if they have the option, and they might find the right dose for them, then they'd, they'd love it, probably. They stick around, then maybe they get off you know, something else that's not doing, not treating them well, and yeah, I mean, the. The opportunities are limitless. I think it's really, it's cool, it's exciting. It's, uh, you're just seeing, you know, miners. I mean, you know, terpenes are gonna start to be introduced, flavonoids, I mean, you're, you know, you're gonna start to see a lot of competition. I mean, you already see it over there. I mean, yeah. how many brands are out there? 30, Probably, or uh, different products at least. Oh, Probably eight, 30 SKUs, if maybe yeah, more. At least, yeah. 10 brands, eight brands. I mean, there's a lot of product out there. Um, right, tomorrow you're gonna see over 100 brands yeah. inside one store. It's unbelievable, so I think there's, it's really cool to see. Um, I think Big Alcohol knows it's coming. They don't love that, you know. There's uh, 50 people here that are super excited for a uh, for a uh, you know cannabis happy hour, and that's uh, that's awesome. I yeah. think that's that's like super exciting. So if people want to get in touch with you, where can they find you? Um, this, is, this is Zach Green, Quarter Coast Consulting. <laughs> Quarter, Quarter Coast Consulting uh, out yeah. of St. Louis. QuarterCoast.com. Um, Find us on LinkedIn. Uh, we're not super active on like Instagram or anything, more like business to business. But uh, yeah, my email is Zach at Quarter Coast, Z-A-C-H at QuarterCoast.com. Loving uh, the Minnesota market and hoping to help out whoever's looking to get involved. We're still trying to figure out exactly what that even looks like, but we know we want to work with good people here. And yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful to be here. Thanks 